Welcome to the Dynamic Prepper. Well, today is Battle Box time again for June 2016. This is Mission 16, and the theme of this mission is land navigation, which I am super stoked about this uh, month's mission because ever since I learned to read a road map when I was a little kid, I have absolutely been enthralled with maps and charts and navigation. This has been sort of a geeky, nerdy indulgence of mine over the years. I got my maritime chart navigation certification when I was in high school by the U.S. Coast Guard. I've kept that current through the years. And I love that old-time skill of navigation, both at land and at sea. And in my opinion, it is a required skill of anyone uh, who wants to lead a preparedness lifestyle. It's just the ability to be able to go anywhere and always know where you are is a skill that a lot of people take for granted. And don't get me wrong, modern electronics and GPS and things like that are great. But if you have the underlying skill of navigation and chart reading, it makes those things even that much more useful because you understand the basic principles behind them and you can utilize them in ways that you can't if you don't understand the basic principles of navigation. So I am super stoked about Mission 16 land navigation. So there's a couple different levels of battle box. There's the basic at 25, the advanced at 50, the Pro at 100, and the Pro Plus at 150. Each one includes the box below it, plus a few extra items, all the way up to the Pro Plus, which is everything you get in all the other boxes, plus the KOM, the Knife of the Month. This is the Pro Plus, so this is going to encompass what comes in all the different levels of boxes, plus our Knife of the Month. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this guy up. Alrighty. Now, of course, these things aren't packed in order. They're packed to fit. So we're going to be kind of getting into different items uh, that belong to different box levels. So when we get to the end, we'll sort of hash everything out. But uh, this is our card that comes with the Battle Ox card. And on the front, there's a bunch of words that you can read. Now, the back is the Mission 16 Land Navigation, June 2016. And then it goes through each level of box, all the items in the box that are included in that level, and then the a value that they're assigning to it plus the main value uh, of that total box. So as you see, the basic is 25, the value is over 70, the advanced is 50, the value is 100, almost 130, the pro is 100, uh, the value is a little under 200, and then the pro plus with the knife of the month is 150 with our value of 343. So that is everything broken down for you. So now we have the battle box packing material, which you know everyone says you can keep this stuff for Tinder. And uh, that's true, but I will tell you this you get a subscription to Battle Box and you're going to have this stuff coming out your ass. So <laughs> about every other month I just throw it away. But there you go. I guess you can never have too much Tinder. All right, we're gonna put this aside with a pile of tender from last month's box. Okay, so, well, right on top we have our knife of the month. Oh, come on. I'm gonna put this aside. We're, we're just gonna move this over here. We're just gonna put this over here for right now. Okay, we're gonna pretend we didn't see that. I wish they'd put it in the bottom of the box. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get into some of the, um, the items that are for the lower boxes first before we get into the knife of the month because that's kind of the, the really cool thing, right? So. First off, we have the Brunton True Arc 3 base plate compass. These things are really, really important for not only for you know a compass for basic navigation, but also for chart navigation. You really do need to have a base plate compass uh, for uh, map navigation. It makes it a heck of a lot easier. Trust me. It comes with a lanyard. That's pretty cool. I like that. I've, I've always been kind of a Sunto guy myself. Uh, I've never had this particular brand. Always thought Suntos were very good. But I've heard good things about them. I've seen reviews on them. And I'm definitely excited to try one out. So we've got a trip coming up in July. Uh, we're actually going to be doing some overland navigation. Uh, we're going into some federal land uh, and also kind of connecting some state land around the Minnesota-Canadian border. And uh, so you, you, there's no... There's no roads up there, so you do kind of have to overland navigate that, so definitely put that to good use. That's pretty cool. Next we have... Oh, that is cool. 
This is a Wazoo Survival DIY Ranger Bead Land Navigation Pace Counter. I love these things. This is one of those things that I just can't get enough of, Ranger Beads. I love Ranger Beads. Had a, I've had a ton of them over the years. And this is a DIY kit. Comes with everything you need to make your own Ranger Bead string with a little Spartan helmet to sort of give it some flair, some bling. That's that's pretty neat. I like. So if you don't know what Ranger Beads are, Ranger Beads are a pace counter. So it allows you, um, if you don't have a way to, to you know get your miles per hour or something like that, which is what GPSs and things like that are nice for. If you don't have those kinds of electronics, you have to have some way of gauging how fast you're going and the distance you're covering in a given time in order to accurately chart and navigate. And Ranger Beads are one way you do that. But uh, they're pretty cool. Suffice it to say, if you don't know what ranger beads are, it's a must-have for navigation. It allows you to gauge how far you've gone in a, in a given time period. So, very important to have some ranger beads. So, that's cool. DIY kit. Give us a little project. Next, we have a... Oh, we have two things going to stuck together there. Okay. We have the Coulter Stargazer Bandana. There we go. That's kind of neat. 20% off. Battle box cold at coulterco.usa.com. So, the uh, Stargazer bandana, that is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let's see, what's our value on this anyway? Uh, our value on the this, by the way, was $13. And then our value on this was $12. Okay, so this is basically a bandana that has the night sky all laid out there so that you can look up to the sky and be able at night to find your bearing and be able to uh, navigate at night. And uh, the value of this, they're putting at $18. That is a pricey little piece of fabric. <laughs> A lot for a bandana. But definitely useful. Backside doesn't have anything printed on it, just the front side. It seems to be relatively good quality. A um, little stiff, probably use a washing. So just be careful, don't confuse, you know, Orion for you know a booger. Could happen, you know. It is a uh, bandana after all, but uh, nonetheless, a multi uh, sort of, you know tool that would be very uh, good to have with you in a survival situation. So you know you could carry it with you every day for as a bandana, and if you ever need to navigate by the stars, you have a little chart right there. So that's pretty cool. Alrighty, I'm trying to make sure that I get stuff in some sort of semblance of order here. Okay, so we'll take out this and that and that. Okay, so there we go. Next, we have some basic map reading skill stuff. So, first thing we have here is our little navigation, basic and primitive navigation reference guide. That's pretty cool. Get you some basic tips on how to navigate. Um, some tricks of the trade, some little pointers. Get you started down the path of learning to navigate. So, that's pretty cool. Um, this is uh, priced out at $7.95 for that. Uh, next thing we have a couple items from maptools.com. Uh, coordinate plotters and protractors. And then we have a little reference card kit right there. Pack of six reference cards and pocket magnifier. So let's get into this real quick. I'm interested to see this. Locating coordinate grid information on USGS maps. So it looks like some little bit of instructional sheet there. How to use how to use the tools. So next we have ah that is nice. Oh, this is this is actually a really nice one. Um yeah, it's not the uh, 
probably can't see that because it's clear. This is a uh, this is a protractor uh, and coordinate scale for reading a map. Again, if you don't know map navigation, this probably doesn't make a lot of sense to you. I actually have a mil spec one, which I typically carry with me, and I think it's really good. This one's actually pretty nice quality, though. I mean, it's not the greatest one I've ever seen, but definitely usable for um, you know for that bug out bag for for putting in your navigational kit in your bag, camping, backpacking, hiking. Um, again, if you're going to do serious navigation or you're really going to depend on the skill of navigation like this to uh, be able to go places you've never been and not get lost, um, these are the tools of the trade that you need. So there we go. So a little owner's manual, some little bit of training on how to use it, how to understand how it goes. Oops. There we go. So that's cool. This is valued at, I think this is valued at 845. It's either 845 or free. I don't know which one's which here. Okay, so the next one is the maptools.com reference card and pocket magnifier. Now this kind of goes with what we just got. Um, so this is going to be all the little reference cards. And again, if you understand navigation, this will start to make a little bit more sense to you. Basically, this just allows some sort of quick reference to do some fairly complicated things using chart navigation. So, um, and it's definitely nice to have these little cards. And then we have a little pocket magnifier too. So that's cool. I like that a lot. So, there we go. And one of these is listed. They have the UTM navigation card set, which I assume is, I guess, that. And then they have the UMT uh, card, which I'm not sure exactly what that is, but evidently that's free. So one of these things is free. Uh, and last but not least, we have the U.S. Army Guide to Map Reading and Navigation. So if I have actually read most of this book, and it's really boring. Uh, you have to be a nav nerd <laughs> to really get this. Um, this is not exactly light reading, um, but it's it's well worth it. I mean, if if you can make it through a technical manual like this, you're gonna know a lot about you know navigation. So definitely cool. Department of the Army. That's neat. So they value this at ten eighty eight what they value that book at. So that's everything that comes in the basic package for 25 bucks. And I think that's actually really good. I mean, that's a lot of stuff. And definitely sets you up to be able to do the basics for navigation. Uh, absolutely. So let's move on to uh, our advanced kit. So we have a couple of things that will come up in the advanced kit for $50. And one of those is this guy right here, which is the Sunto. That's what I use. Um, this is the MCB. Northern Hemisphere, hemisphere uh, Mirrored Compass. And again, if you're going to get into serious navigation, um, this is the type of compass you really need to have. Flat base compass, you can use it on a map, which is important. It's important to have a flat compass for map usage. Um, comes with a lanyard and uh, yeah, these are nice. I've been using Suntel compasses for a long time, and they are well worth the investment. They cost a few extra bucks, but they are really not all that expensive. But they do cost a little bit of money, and it's good to have a nice one. Uh, the Sunto is valued at $27.95, and that comes in our advanced. And next we have the Survival Land Navigation... DVD. From sport to disaster, land navigation can be the difference between life and death. And the knowledge gained in this film, you with the knowledge you gained in this film, you will be prepared for when tech fails. Learn in this film manual land navigation, navigate without a GPS, how to read a compass and topographic map, and understand declination. So, yeah, that's cool. Produced by the Survival Summit. There you go. Is that guy serious? He knows where he's going. So training DVD. 
I don't remember the last time I watched a DVD. Um, yeah, so there's uh, some practical training for all of you to learn how to use these items you've gotten. If you get the advance kit, you'll get this DVD. So if you get the base, you'll get the book. If you get the advance, you'll get the DVD to go along with it. That's a lot of information. That'll keep you busy for a while. So those two items will make our advance kit at $50. Let's go ahead and go into our pro kit. And in that we have this guy right here. Barska. Colorado binoculars. I've never actually heard of Barska. But this is actually really cool. I've actually been in the market for a new pair of binoculars. Um, I have a set that works fine, but I've actually been wanting to pick up a new set. So this is the uh, Barska Colorado waterproof binoculars. Owner's manual. It's actually a nice case. Nylon case. Those are nice. Yeah. Not nearly as heavy as I expected. Actually, very nice. I wouldn't say they're deceptively light, but uh, the ones that I have currently are maybe a slightly bigger than this size-wise, and they are a tank. They're really heavy. They're nice, but they're super, super heavy. And I've been actually wanting to get a new pair for a while, and these look nice. Definitely excited to get these out and give them a try. Plenty of uses for a good pair of binoculars. And definitely important in navigation, too, because it allows you to Obviously, there's a safety aspect of it. It allows you to see things before they see you. Uh, but in navigation, it's very important, too, because it allows you to pinpoint um, uh, you know, terrain objectives or even terrain landmarks. So if you, have a, if you have a topographic map and you have landmarks on that map that you can, you can see with the, your own eyes, it allows you to help place yourself. So um, very important with navigation, too. So that's so nice. The... Colorado is by Barska. So now let's get into our KOM, the knife of the month, the advanced, or excuse me, the Pro Plus. And here it is. In the Pro Plus, you get your knife of the month. And this month's knife of the month is the Sniper Blade Works SOF Chopper. Look at that thing. That is cool. I mean, this is this is beyond a knife of the month. This is a freaking beast of the month is what this thing is. Look how thick that blade is. Yeah, she's sharp. The handle, very ergonomic handle. I love that. Yeah, that feels good. Feels good in the hand. It's, uh, it's definitely heavy, but uh, it's not... You know, like insane. I'm excited to get that out. This is definitely going on some backpacking trips this summer. I can see a lot of use for this in the woods. Oh, yeah. So there you go. The uh, Cyber Blade Works SOF Chopper, that's valued at $145, which brings our total. Uh, Pro Plus value up to 343.17. So let's do a really quick review of everything that we got. So for our basic, we got our Stargazer bandana. We have our button compass. We have our ranger beads. We have the Army navigation guidebook. We have our chart tools and reference cards along with the information for that which we'll put over here. We have our basic and primitive navigation uh, pamphlet 
there. Is that everything that came? I believe it is. Yes, yes. So this was everything that came in our uh, basic package for $25. I think you got everything you need in for 25 bucks to get into the art of navigation. Absolutely. Um, with our advanced, we added on the Sunto uh, MCB compass. So you get two compasses, which is pretty cool. And also the survival land navigation instructional DVD to show you how to use that. This was at $50. When you go with the uh, Pro at $100, we add in the uh, Barska Colorado binoculars right there at $100. That's what you get. And the Pro Plus adds in, in addition to all that, the knife of the month. The Sniper Blade Works Chopper. So that's everything that came in all of the all of the uh, different boxes for Mission 16 Land Navigation. We got a bunch of packaging material and Tinder and everything else and lots of cool stuff to put together. We got some books to read. We got some DVDs to watch. We got some pamphlets to go through. We got some ranger beads to build. We have a bandana to wash and blow our nose in. Uh, we got some... Uh, binoculars to go creep out the neighbors with. I'm excited. This 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 is a great this is a great box. Uh, it was probably one of the best subscription boxes I've gotten in my opinion. Totally worth the the at each level. Totally worth the price that you pay. And uh, I can't wait to get out and use some of this stuff. So I'm really excited, especially about the binoculars and my knife. Oh, it's great. There you go. Battle box mission 16. Take it easy.